Hi, I'm John Towsley, back again talking about IT service catalogs. Let's do a quick recap of what we talked about in the other videos. So to be successful, we said that we need to understand what a service is. We need to understand the difference between a business service catalog and a technical service catalog. And we need to be able to define services from the bottom up, that is, technical service catalogs and working our way backwards. To be successful, we're going to have to have a mandate from within the IT department but we're going to want to plug into some of our business users as well to make sure that this pilot is successful in terms of rolling out a service catalog. Last time we got through how it is we go about defining what a service is, and you'll find on ThoughtRock some templates so you can see examples of, of what I'm talking about. What we want to talk to now is the question of automation. Clearly, in a lot of organizations, our users are going to expect to be able to browse to an internet site uh, or some kind of a tool to see what services are available and re request that service for a new employee or if an employee's moved into a new department, whatever the case may be. That service catalog, ideally, will be supported by all of the background information we defined when we built the technical service catalog, and that will drive the kind of questions we need to ask people when they're requesting the service. Now, the question about automation really comes down to looking at build versus buy, and which vendors provide the best tools to suit our environment. All of the normal things you would do as an IT professional to answer those questions for any application apply to you. The shoemaker's son never has shoes, but you gotta have something on your feet. So take a look at your normal project planning for applications. In the case of the ITSM world, most of the vendors are driving towards integrated solutions. If you already have a service desk application for incident problem tracking, a change application, a CMDB, you may want to find out what the service offerings are from the vendor you're using for those applications. As I said, in this space, most of the vendors are offering integrated solutions, and it may well be that the integrated solution for a service catalog from your existing vendor is A, the path of least resistance, B, the most cost effective, and certainly C, the most easy to implement. As with any canned software application, you're going to have to make some trade-offs about customization, changes, but generally speaking, I think you'll find that most of your requirements can be met, uh, especially with a little bit of work on top to customize things to your environment. So that's the way I would approach that, certainly, once you've accomplished the other steps.